stream is caught up. Thank you all for joining me, both on the stream for the live streaming of this game, as well as all my YouTube watchers. Um, if you possibly can, do help out. Um, I'm double checking my channel. I'm not sure if my stream channel has it or not. But, um, uh, no, I don't think it does. Um, but, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, uh, I do have a Patreon. It's, uh, Mad Mad, uh, Inc. Patreon.com slash Mad Mad Inc. And, uh, not only is this a stream for my birthday, but it's also, uh, trying to drum up a little bit of attention. Um, if my shows are to continue, I do need more attention, and, uh, the Patreon is the number one way to help me be able to afford to keep putting out stuff for you guys to watch and to enjoy. And I hope you do enjoy everything you've been seeing from me. And, um, with that being said, uh, let's actually get back to the game here. I have modded this game, by the way. Um, mostly because there's a couple of things that I feel are unfair about Grand Theft Auto 3. Well, first of all, the Steam version of the game is really buggy. I think this is, like, probably their original version before patching it, even for PC. Uh, if you put, try to put it in widescreen, the reticle bugs out and it goes, uh, well, actually, for you, it would be up into the, uh, right there, and, uh, that's no good when you're trying to play a game and you can't properly target something, you know? Um, also, uh, there's a lot of graphical bugs that make things really dark and hard to see, even in broad daylight, so, uh, you have to patch the EXE in order to make that to stop happening. Um, also, I up did a few updates for the actual uh, layout of things, so it apparently it's supposed to be a little bit more like Grand Theft Auto 4 or 5 in style, apparently, from what I understand of the uh, uh, mod that I downloaded. Also, I downloaded a better map, and I would have preferred a map that had uh, item listings, so at least you can tell when you're close to one of the, uh, the hidden packages, for instance. But... I couldn't find a map for that, which you would think would be a thing. So instead, I downloaded a different mod. Also, the main skin you're going to be seeing for this is one I created myself off a of template. Uh, I did borrow a few tiny art assets, but almost all of them I re-edited myself. So, in, in truthfulness, I have re-edited things to be my own and to work the way I think they work best for my character model, and you can actually download my character model off of uh, Nexus Mods, and I actually started up probably the first mod for Grand Theft Auto 3. So if you like my character model, by all means, you can go find me on uh, Nexus Mods on under GTA 3 and uh, find my uh, little outfit there. So uh, with that being said, let's start up the game. City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. 
Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're oh, gonna be I sorry. like it. Closer to the microphone so I can be heard. I'm actually going to uh, turn down the audio options really quick here a little bit. Needs to be so loud. All right. This is Ham Radio Love Media Station, one of 900 radio stations. Ah, dang it! I just went right past it there. By the way, uh, the MP3 station is uh, some of the music I have made for the channel. Some of which I've yet to release in their own videos yet because I've just been kind of procrastinating on that, to be honest. <clears throat> so, yes, you'll be hearing my own self made music throughout the rest of the stream. Unless, of course, I want to go in chat box, which I believe is also safe for YouTube. <clears throat> Not to mention it's safe for Twitch these days, apparently. <laughs> yeah, now you can get a good look at my character model. I think it fits him. The silent type, you know? Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Paul's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Gotcha. Get out of here. Get you out of here. Your candy, I believe the name was. Hi, I'm Misty. I get her and uh, Candy from Highlander confused, apparently. Now that we got our first major mission done, I also want to show you this mod. This is a fantastic mod because, uh, let's face facts, after about three or four missions in, you'll suddenly realize you're extremely underpowered compared to everyone else who already has almost limit unlimited amounts of body armor, not to mention weaponry, fire in advance of yourself. You get a pistol and they got shotguns, so it's quite unfair. Let's face facts. So, let's even things out. all the equipment. Now, again, I don't like having to do this, but uh, if the game's going to be unfair, then I'll be unfair right back.
There's all the hidden packages, and look at that money. I'm gonna get you. I think my card just disappeared. Yep, it disappeared. Badass here. <laughs> Don't spake my bitch up. Luigi said to to give you this, so here, here, take it. It's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Hop. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. It is an insult. I'll give him that. Compensation? Oh, I think we can get compensation. Let's see here. Hello, sir. Guess I'll leave that car behind. Oh well. Are a perfect Get around the field. This is the only entrance to this lockup. Hello, sir. Mind if I borrow your car? Save the world from a taxi. It's the only way to ride. It's made into a 8-bit format. Hey, I gotta talk to you. All right. Hey. I gotta talk to you later. How you doing, Luigi? Another one of those days. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off mist. No problem, boss. Freaking road. Besides, you're fine. As long as you bend like a reed in the wind. Badoom, badoom. Joey! Am I gonna get to play with your big hands again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Okie doke. See you later. I'll work for Joey once I'm done working for Luigi. And I'll work for Tony once I'm done with Joey, because Tony leads up into the uh, last bits of the uh, actual main story for the island. Fuzzball. Oh, okay. I don't know which one this is. The 
policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their grain. Gotcha. On it, Luigi. No problem. Time for a taxi service. Get back in time. 
you can try. Take it. Pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, shit, it's right there. Three, two, one. Got them all. Last second. High five myself. Or. Rufus viewers, I don't know. High five ourselves. That'll work. At least I'm not stealing it. That was awesome. That's, uh, I think, the first time I managed to get all the men. I do have my eyes open. You people just keep walking into my way. Hey, I'm bored. When are you gonna drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little busy. My clips last lunch. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal uh. his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once oh, you yeah. fitted it with a bomb, we go, back. go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, you won't be eating forever. Gotcha. Let's go do this thing. Shotgun, buddy. And let's pick up this car. His <laughs> ah, noise. Let's get over to eight ball in the next five minutes and bring it back. In one piece. Ugh, turns like a boat. Noticeable damage. Let's park this baby. Go. Look at. I hope you enjoyed lunch. Cause you're about to be baked over easy. Giant egg of a man, you. Listen, this guy ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's Capo, Tony Cipriani. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant at St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Okie doke. Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? Okay, just a moment, sir. There we go. Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Yes, sir. My money, my problem. Easy dragon, grab. Okay. If it ain't long, it ain't white. Oh my. Drop by later. Give them something to launder. Their own blood stained clothes. 